Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Ah Blood Moon. <laughs> Man, right, what a time I've been having these last few weeks. Oh what? What? Oh tell you what, it's been horrendous. First of all I had no internet for a week. Oh I nearly died. Um mostly because I need the internet actually for my job um, and then uh, secondly because I couldn't do all the other peripheral stuff like have fun um, I obviously I can play computer games but uh, the annoying thing about uh, some of the games that I've got is that I use Steam not for Morrowind but for Skyrim I need Steam hmm and, uh, unless you've activated offline mode whilst online you can't play offline that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Steam, I hate you for that. Your offline mode is a piece of crap. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get down, down, down to playing this game. I'm playing uh, right now on Sunday. And... Uh, are we running? Crap, I don't know what we're doing here. Are we running now? No, we're not. Where, what the hell's run? Right, this is run. There we go. There we go. Anyway, we need to go find the Earth Cave, the the Cave of Singing Earth, or something like that. Somewhere around here. We'll find it. <laughs> here we go. The Cave of the Hidden Music. Oh, this thing is going to be filled with dragger. Do you know what? I just don't have any desire to fight them. They're just speed bumps to our success. That's all they are. They're mere speed bumps. And annoying speed bumps. So that way, not that speed bumps are never not annoying. I'll pick that. I'll leave that. Level 80. Can we pick a level 80 lock with just... I think we can. Too complex, apparently. Are we able to rest? Oh, we can rest until we're healed right here. Hmm. No bad guys about. It's strange. Still can't. No problem. Uh, we have magic. Opening magic. That will be able to help us with this situation. Pretty sure. Uh, this one. Ha! -ha! <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Actually, where's the boots? Because if the boots are damaged, they're then. Oh, you need repairing. And I didn't get a single repair on that. Never mind. Right, I'll take that. I'll. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. And we'll take. Yeah, we'll take that. And don't care about that. Don't care about that. Shock eater rope. Uh, I'll take it. And stand restore health potion. Yes, please. Right. Let's get our dagger. Not that one. This one, because this is our favorite dagger of all time. Right. Forget which direction to go. And I'm not in the mood for fighting these chaps, so I'll just let them do whatever it is that they do, and I'm just gonna do whatever it is. Oh, I'll take that, take that, and that, but leave everything else. Whoa! Wasn't expecting to get clobbered there. Mm hmm. A chest! Wonderful. Let's get our pick out. Level 50, I think I said we should be okay with that. Yes! Easy peasy. We'll take that. Lots of hammers. Ah, but we're currently in combat, so we can't... Oh, it was only two hammers. I thought it said 12. Never mind. Never mind. Anything hidden behind these? It's going to be interview. Anything? Hmm, gold. 
I'll take that, and I'll take that, thanks. But nothing of real interest. Anyway, I'm recording this on Sunday, I can't remember the date. What is the date today? 18th. <laughs> can't believe I had to look on my phone to see the date. Hello chaps, nice to see you, nice to see you, just chilling out there, good. They're not trying to chase me down because their waypoints are screwed up, that's why. Just so you know, in case you were interested. Yeah. And hopefully I get to... Mmm, Huntsman's Spear. I'll take that, because that's interesting. I've not ever seen one of them. I don't think I've ever seen one of them in this game before. There we go. The Ruby, Bone Mold Arrow. Wonderful. Are we still in combat mode? The music seems to indicate that we are. There we go. <sighs> anyway. Oh, do you know what? Today I was on Reddit, and uh, guess what I saw? I saw the video for... <laughs> for Prometheus. Have you seen that? I don't know if you have. Looks so very cool. Fortify health, oh dear. I'm looking forward to seeing it if it comes out. I really hope it's a good. It's a good film and not a crap film. It's obviously in the Aliens universe, uh, if you've seen the video. It's... If you've seen the Alien, the very first Alien film, it sort of centers around the ship that uh, is in the first... the one where they, all the original Aliens come from. Orcish Bolt? Bolts and arrows. Oh, just take it off. Hey, leave me alone, chaps. Chaps, leave me alone. But it looks really good. I think it. Well, I don't know. See, the trailers always obviously make the games look good. <laughs> We're never going to have a trailer that makes your uh, film look crap, are you? Oh yeah. We're just... Come on, do some more. Get to work. Let's open up this chest. Come on. Anyway, but it's the um oh what you call it? The space jockey, I think. That's what we call it. Is in the film. But I think he's alive and not had his chest burst open. Steel cross bolt. Is that how much does that deal less damage? Oh, it's the s oh, it is less damage. It's twenty to twenty. <coughs> I think I'm going the wrong direction. There's chests to be opened. There we go. Talverni bug musk. Hmm. Well, I'll take all of that. Come on, let's go back this way. So many chests. Anyway, um, Prometheus, excellent looking film. I really hope it doesn't live. It lives up to that. The well, it's like my expectations for it, which are probably too high for it to meet up to. Them. <laughs> if, I'm being, if I'm being honest, um, but on the on the other side. that time off already. There we go. I've just received a text that says you're going to be an uncle. <laughs> but it's from a number I don't know. So either it's someone sending to me something when they're drunk or one of my relatives my siblings is pregnant or got someone pregnant. Interesting. I'm going to have to reply to this. <laughs> oh, unusual. Oh, there you go. Heard it here first. I'm over encumbered.
Uh, the person revealed who it is. It's my brother. <laughs> wow, why wow, didn't you know what? I had this sneaking suspicion. Just some sneaky, sneaky suspicion. I just. I don't know what it was. I think I've got a knack for this thing. Because I, well, I was saying to someone the other day that I thought that they were pregnant. Hmm. And they are. Turns out they are. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to find some weight to drop. Something that we don't really need. Do you know what? We're going to drop this. It's not going to be enough weight. Is it? Nope. Uh, what about the soul gem? We don't really care about soul gems, but it's still too much weight. Could drink some health potions, I suppose. Come on, we'll complete this mission as well while we're at it. There we go. Mm, exciting times. Aha, this is where we want to be, up there. Got to restore strength and restore willpower. We don't care too much about that. Come on, let's get back to Morrowind, shall we? Hmm. Right. I'm ready. So dun 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 dun. Did I do it right? I don't know, did I do it right? So small, medium, big, small. Small, medium, big, small. Uh, what did that do there? After repeating the pattern, the sound swelled and then grew silent. I should return to the earth stone. Hmm, interesting. Come on then. Let's get there. Oh dear, which way am I supposed to go? This way, I think. And I think we've been everywhere we're supposed to in here. Yes. Come along then, fellows. Right. Back. Oh, I forgot about these dudes. I left them all alive. Wow, look at this. Oh! <laughs> Where are you going to? He's giving it legs and a half. Let's get back. Anyway, one thing I would say about the whole uh, Aliens series is that there are two films that are sort of part of the franchise that I hate. And that is Alien vs. Predator. The first one was sort of okay. Sort of okay, but... I don't know. I... You, what it did do is it completely missed the point of the whole Alien films, in my mind. It missed, it just lacked the, the whole, the whole alienness of it. And the second one was just, what was the point in that? There we go, we've done it, let's check read our journal. When I returned to the Earthstone, it began to glow with a mystical light. I have completed the gift of Earth Ritual. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Etc. Etc. Let's fight this man. You will die where you stand. Because he is annoying. I don't know why, why you're so crazy that you'd think that you could actually possibly hope to win. There we go. Dead and naked, just the way we like them. Let's save up. I have actually previously tried to record this episode, but I screwed up as well, just so you know. Anyway, there we go. Interesting episode. So. When we come back, there'll be more Morrowind Blood Moon. But until then, till next time, stay safe, take care of yourself, and goodbye.